Yeah, guys, we're going to talk about Switch 2 and the possibility of it being revealed in October here in a moment. A couple of things I want to bring up here first. First off, Echoes of Wisdom is brilliant. No spoilers here, but man, this game is even better than I thought it was going to be, and I already thought it was going to be a really, really good game. You guys should tune into our podcast this upcoming Wednesday. Our final topic of the show is going to end up being an uh, open discussion, uh, a pseudo-review of uh, Echoes of Wisdom. We're going to just talk about the various aspects of the game, what we like, dislike, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and kind of come to a conclusion, maybe even a cumulative score, where we each give a score and then give an average, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens there. But what I want to uh, focus in on today is obviously the Nintendo Switch 2, which isn't a surprise. It's what we talk about the most at the channel over the course of the last couple of months anyways. And that's because we're really excited in the anticipation of the reveal. Ever since Nintendo put out their, uh, was it back in May, I believe, they mentioned that, hey, the Nintendo Switch successor will be revealed by the end of this fiscal year. And look, that's obviously been really, really exciting because as we enter the month of October, which for the other side of the world from where I am right now has already begun, uh, we look towards the fact that there's only six months left, October, November, December, January, February, March. We have six months left at maximum for the Nintendo Switch successor, what we call the Nintendo Switch 2, to be revealed. And if it is coming out in March or April or even May of next year, it is within reasonable, you know, expectation that it will be revealed in 2024. But there are obviously legitimate arguments against that, such as worrying about holiday sales targets and uh, not with the software per se, because backwards compatibility kind of takes care of that problem. You could feel very confident buying software knowing you could just play it on a Switch 2 next year. But it could affect hardware sales in some ways, especially without any sort of major discounts, which it appears Nintendo isn't doing. They're instead just doing a ton of holiday bundles, which might work. It actually might work pretty well for Nintendo. But here's the thing. There's obviously expectations that Nintendo will reveal it this year and plenty of expectations that they won't. We did a poll on this earlier and look, a majority of people expect it to be revealed this year. And if that's the case right now is really when they would do it right now, you know, as in October, not right now as in today, because it's September. And one thing to address before I get into the expectations of an October reveal and when it could happen in October, because believe it or not, this week is one of those weeks. We have to first mention that I made a bet. I made a bet before we got to September, a hot chip challenge bet. And while the hot chip is not in hand right now, I need to remind everyone that for me, it is September 30th. So wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the hot chip should be in hand. Now, we're not doing our hot chip challenge tomorrow for losing the bet, because again, September 30th hasn't ended for me yet, so I'm kind of holding out, but we're not doing it tomorrow. We actually have a planned date for the hot chip challenge bet, because it turns out that others took the bet with me, unbeknownst to you. Uh, among them is Eric. Eric Moore was also confident the Nintendo Switch 2 would be revealed in September, and so he did the bet with me. Eric Moore is a co-host of the podcast. So we also have a special guest coming on our show uh, on October 9th, who turns out... <laughs> was betting pretty heavy on September as well and wishes to do the hot chip challenge with us. So that being said, October 9th, during our live podcast that begins at 8 p.m. Central Time, we will be doing the hot chip challenge that I say we, it's going to be the three of us. I'm going to not even mention who the guest is ahead of time so you guys can just uh, speculate away. But I am very, very excited by this show. And I really look forward to uh, <laughs> entertaining you guys, I guess. I'm not looking forward to the pain. I'm not looking forward to the heat. I'm not looking forward to, um, you know, gracing my porcelain throne on October 9th. But uh, what I am looking forward to is providing entertainment for you guys and punishing myself a little bit here over uh, making a bet that didn't work out. By the way, I have bet the Hot Chip Challenge three times. Uh, I've won all three times. In fact, for Eric, this will be his second time doing the hot chip challenge because he lost a bet to me 
years ago and had to do it live on the stream. So he's actually already done it once and kind of warned me what my body might be going through. Uh, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be all in good fun. And I hope you guys tune in to be entertained. So Hot Chip Challenge, October 9th. It's going to be our first topic of the podcast. You know, we usually have about four topics for the podcast. Topic one, that's going to end up being we do the Hot Chip Challenge. Uh, Thunderstash and Game Junction get to just laugh and have fun and commentate uh, as all three of us are dealing <laughs> with what we're dealing with. And I might be the one that deals with the worst. So if people are worried that, well, other people are getting punished, you can't, no, I'm not copping out of anything. Trust me. Watch. It's going to, at bare minimum, be entertaining. All right. That being said, uh, October is obviously practically upon us, at least at the time of recording this video. It's not quite October 1st. And it's kind of wild to me because I ordered a new phone, right? I, I don't know if you guys know, I broke my main phone. I have two phones, right? We have a work phone number. That's what I give to, like, sponsors and businesses. So, uh, you know, if they have to call or, or put, put a phone number down for shipping purposes, it's not my personal phone. Then I have my personal phone. My personal phone's been broken for, like, a month. And I ordered a new one. And because it's the new iPhone, which is on back order, I'm not getting it till the end of October. So the funny thing about that is there's three weeks of possibility here in October for our Nintendo Switch to reveal. Now, you could argue four, but I'm going to ignore Halloween week. I think we need to be uh, very conscientious that the week of Halloween, uh, which is that final week of October, because October has like five weeks almost in it. It's something we need to be conscious of. Halloween is not just celebrated here in the United States. It's celebrated internationally. It's celebrated in several different countries. All Hallows Eve, you know, Day of the Dead, yada, yada, yada. This is a thing that's, accept, you know, just kind of recognized. Uh, I don't want to say all over the world, but recognized in multiple countries. So because of that, I kind of feel like Nintendo will let that go and not really have any sort of major hardware announcement that week as everyone's focused on dressing up and candy and spooky things. But I do think that that leaves three other possible weeks. Now, I mentioned there's five weeks, but a major game comes out in October, and that is, well, Mario Party Jamboree. And whether or not you're excited for Mario Party is sort of irrelevant because Mario Party is going to be, and I'm just, this is a prediction, I have no bet on this, it's going to be Nintendo's best-selling game in of this year. Like, of brand new releases in 2024, Mario Party Jamboree, to me, is going to be the best-selling one. It's going to outsell Zelda, it's going to outsell Thousand Year Door, it's going to outsell Princess Peach Showtime, and all the rest. It's going to outsell Mario and Luigi Brothership later, which won't have as much time on the market. So, yes, I do think that this will be their best seller. Every single Mario Party game this generation has sold over 10 million copies. That's two of them so far. Yeah, I think this is following suit. It's going to be another 10 million plus seller. And if it ends up being what it's touting itself to be, remember, they are claiming that this is the biggest and best Mario Party ever, which I guess, if you think about it from Nintendo's standpoint, you would probably say that about everything you put out. Like, every time you put out something new, you expect it to be bigger and better than the rest. But I think they're saying this in particular because they know recent Mario Party entries haven't necessarily been, you know, their best foot forward with Mario Party. So they're acting like this is their best foot forward. So we'll see what happens. But either way, it's going to sell very well and be a 10 million plus seller. I don't know if Echoes of Wisdom is going to pull that off. We've never had a top-down Zelda come close to 10 million. And I'm talking about even close to it. We're not even talking about, you know trying to uh you know hit tears of the kingdom numbers or something like we're gonna talk about hey can we get to like eight million or something like that that would be really huge for a top-down zelda but we'll see uh I, I do think though that we're looking at nintendo's best-selling game this year so because of that october 17th i do not suspect nintendo is going to be dropping any sort of switch to announcement then i feel like uh the only thing that could indicate that is those uh new chargers they're releasing for your joy cons because that could be switch 2 related and that's also dropping the same day as mario party but i kind of feel like nintendo's never going to recognize that that's a product that happens to help with switch 2 it's just going to be hey we already have this out there so the problem that people might talk about with your joy cons not being compatible with switch 2 but still uh, being able to be used but not slid on the side. I think it's one of those that Nintendo will just not say anything because the solution's already out there. That being said, what are the three weeks? Well, that obviously leaves us with this week. This is the first week of October, beginning tomorrow. They obviously could reveal it this week. We do have, on Wednesday, which is our podcast day, the Nintendo Museum opens up. And as we saw in yesterday's video, uh, Rogers Base, who got to go ahead and tour the place, sent there by Nintendo. What a special thing, by the way, Nintendo. Uh, where's my invite, man? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I don't have my passport sorted out right now, so I probably would be able to go anyways. But the point is that uh, he got to go, and there was one particular uh, spot in his video where there was notably a missing section that was clearly referencing Nintendo's next platform in the controller area, and I find that to be really interesting. Uh, and again, the public will be able to see that on October 2nd, and who knows, when the public gets access, there might be more and more videos and images uh, showing maybe other places in the museum that are clearly prepared for the next Nintendo system to be in the museum, but it's just not in there yet. Uh, so because it's not that it's not in there yet, I'm, I, I don't think it's suddenly being revealed on Wednesday, right? Like if I rule out October 2nd as a reveal date, because if that was a reveal date, then I feel like it would be in the museum already. Then, uh, which, I mean, maybe it wouldn't have been in the museum yet because the people that got to go tour the place were also going early. So in theory, they could swap that stuff out and have Switch 2 in there for the second. I guess it's still possible, but I'm kind of doubting uh, they're going to overshadow the museum day. Although I don't know if it overshadows the museum day. It could actually be a great reason to advertise the museum. Hey, come to the Nintendo Museum to get your first look, like physical look at a Switch 2. That could actually be a driving force uh, to get people to be there. But that's neither here nor there. I'm kind of ruling out October 2nd. That doesn't mean the third the Thursday couldn't happen. I do think the fourth is probably ruled out. I don't think Nintendo's going to do anything weekend-wise. So this week, you know, I would argue Thursday is maybe the best possible date to see a Switch 2 reveal after the museum opens. But uh, again, Nintendo does have that museum this week. So if you want to look at it as that's a major Nintendo event, you know, maybe not on the level of Mario Party, but still important, then okay. When's the next major week? Well, it'll be next week. And when we look towards next week, that actually starts to feel like a more and more ideal week. Uh, it, it, there's just nothing really going on at Nintendo. Sure, they'll probably have some Mario Party Jamboree previews um, and stuff like that, but I, nothing major that I think matters that much. Uh, and obviously the following week we have the, the Jamboree stuff. So if I, if I was a betting man, I would be going with either next week or the week after Jamboree. Those two weeks to me feel like the most likely weeks that Nintendo could reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 this month. And I want to be clear, we don't actually know when Nintendo is going to reveal this system. There have been some insiders or reported insiders that have sort of hinted some things like uh, some people saying that like, oh, it's going to be revealed before the middle of October. Well, the middle of October is also this third week here where we have the, because remember, it's about five weeks long this month. So the third week is where Jamboree comes out. So the middle of, so if it's before that week, then it would be either this week or next week, which is really exciting to think about. We also had those supposed leaked rumored stuff about October 10th out there. And October 10th is conveniently on a day Nintendo could reveal next week, which I find really, really funny because we might be doing the hot chip challenge on October. 9th where Nintendo well we are doing it probably you know, unless it's revealed today we're doing it October 9th and the funny thing is that day Nintendo could announce that they're revealing the system the next day so it could be a really wild podcast episode but that's neither here nor there what I'm really focusing in on are those two weeks and guys if it's not revealed in October then I think uh it's safe to say it probably won't be re revealed in 2024 and to remember Nintendo never promised it would be revealed this year so honestly this month is like the last stand for 2024 I do not foresee Nintendo revealing a system during their holiday sales period when they're trying to promote all their bundles and promote all their holiday sales and their Black Friday deals and I just don't see Nintendo wanting to actually overshadow the holidays like people talk about revealing switch 2 overshadows the holidays as long as it's revealed before the holidays begin it's not really going to overshadow anything because it's still it could just have a tentative date of 2025 and not really give us any indication when it's coming and then you you, you obviously have all the you know the, the holiday sales and promotions for that so i kind of feel like october's it like, they're not going to do it in, in, in December. Uh, they could do it in January, although that might make people feel a little, oh, my gosh. So then, you know, what? again, we'll get to hypothetical 2025 dates, which I get are January, February, or March, uh, based on Nintendo's own words. So it's not like we don't have an idea here. But uh, every day that ticks by is a day closer to reveal. And regardless of when the reveal is, every day that ticks by, we are closer. And so my excitement and anticipation builds every night I go to sleep, every day I wake up, I'm like, is today the day? Is today the day? Because that's what we're getting down to here. We're getting down to the wire. We're getting down to the last six months. This is for reveal, of course. We don't know when it's releasing. So yes, this month is the last stand, in my opinion, for 2024. We'll wait and see uh, if things happen. And if they don't, 
I don't know, man. Like I said, we have a couple rumors for October. We have some people expecting October. We have Necrofilipe Lima that said it's going to be revealed before the middle of October. Of course, that might have been just a guess and not really a prediction. Or it might have been a prediction and a guess, not really insider information. Uh, he put up an interesting post over at Family Boards today, something about how, um, you know, because this week's the first week of October, you know, let the birds, you know, sing or whatever. And I don't know if he's referencing that he's got little birdies in his ears, you know, little sources, you know, chirping away and, and, and they're about to get some exact details or if there's just nothing happening. We know that uh, Nate the Hate has put out there that he's not planning to at least uh, tell us anything about when it's being revealed or maybe he just doesn't know. Uh, same with PH Brazil who also said, hey, I'm not going to be like telling people when the reveal event's happening even if he found out. But we do know that PH Brazil uh, did say something interesting and this should this should make you a little bit excited. He said something uh, about, because he's been right about a lot of stuff this year, and he put out there that uh, he would be flabbergasted if it wasn't revealed in 2024. So to me, that just makes the 2024 October hype a little bit higher for me, because I'll say this. I'm doing the hot chip challenge in October, right? October 9th. It would sure suck if I did that challenge and then they didn't reveal it this month, huh? Huh? I'm cool being wrong about September if it's actually revealed this month. It's really going to suck if we get to the end of October and it's not revealed. In fact, maybe, maybe we need to do a second bet. You guys let me know. I don't want to bet a second bet for October. Because I feel like at this point, you start betting every single month. You're kind of copping out and it makes the bets worth a little less because you're just making six individual different bets until it's revealed. But how about this? How about this? I'm not going to make a bet for October, but I am going to make a, another bet here. I don't know what we're betting yet, but I want to make another bet about it being revealed this year. That's it. That's all the bet is. That does technically give me November and December, which I don't think are possible, but it also means, you know, like the first week of January, maybe that first podcast, some other punishment or some other thing happens. So uh, you guys go down in the comments below and give me some ideas of what I should be betting here for a reveal in 2024, because that's a second bet I'm willing to take instead of going month by month by month. That feels like a cop out. Let's just say 2024. Just on the off chance Nintendo does reveal it outside of October. Then again, you might be saying, well, Nate, you don't sound pretty confident in saying it's either October or bust. And you know what? You got me. Maybe on our live stream tonight, you can convince me otherwise. And we'll do a separate bet for October. That's I'm crazy. I got to stop betting. You know, I don't lose bets very often. But I just lost one for September or probably lost one because it's already October in Japan. Oh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry, my stomach's curdling a little bit. It's like, oh, oh, oh man, you're going to be doing a Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.